Hi, welcome back. Um, I've just got back from holiday, which was amazing. I was really privileged this year to be able to go to America, which is, I'm not always able to do that. Um, and I went to California, which has been a dream of mine to go there for quite a long time. In one sense, to kind of see the Franciscan missionaries who went there from Mexico, because I, I love Mexico, but I didn't really see that much to do with the Franciscans. Um, but what I did see was a lot of things that challenged me. And in particular, when I crossed the border from uh, California down into Mexico, that was really heartbreaking to see so much poverty. There's a lot of poverty in California, in Los Angeles and other cities in San Francisco, but also there's a lot of poverty on the border with Mexico, where the, um, a lot of Mexican illegal immigrants are deported from America and taken across the border. And sadly, maybe we don't hear about this very much, their paperwork is ripped up and they're just left, they're just dumped on the other side of the border, so with no kind of identification. And I had the real privilege while I was in Tijuana, which is a border city in the north of Mexico, had the privilege of working with some of the migrants um, just for an afternoon um, with the sisters of Mother Teresa. She set up this amazing religious order of nuns who serve the poor around the world. And a friend of mine who I went to see, he'd arranged for me to spend an afternoon with them. So I celebrated mass with Mother Teresa's sisters in a chapel that Mother Teresa had visited like so many times herself. And that was a real privilege. And then we served lunch um, for the migrants afterwards. And that was a really moving experience to, to be able to do that, to be able to serve them. Um, because Jesus tells us that what you do for the least of my brethren, you do for me. And it was just a real privilege to be able to serve them, to serve Christ in them in that way. And just to hear their story of how, yeah, they have nothing. One, one man said to me, and it really ripped my heart to shreds, as I was serving lunch, he said to me, I love California, he said. I love California with all my heart. And this guy obviously lived there for a long time, and maybe he had been living there illegally, I don't know. But he'd had his you know, papers ripped up, and he'd just been like dropped back into Mexico with no, I don't know, no roots, no nothing and he'd been taken from somewhere that he loved so much and I just thought you know there's places in the world I love so much and if I got taken away from them against my my own will I'd be heartbroken so although there is a legal aspect to that I, I recognize that I get that there's also a human aspect and emotions and love and care and so many different things and it is heartbreaking to see people's lives so broken and yeah, but also it was great to see Mother Teresa's sisters doing all the good things that they did as well and bringing light and bringing hope to those people's lives. And I'd just like to make a big shout out to them, to the Mother Teresa sisters in Tijuana for all the amazing work they do and all the Mother Teresa sisters around the world who care for the poor who've been forgotten by so many people. So if you ever get a chance to visit foreign parts, just check out where things aren't glamorous. Maybe look at the work that is taking place with people who've fallen through the cracks of society and through the system. There's plenty of them everywhere and often we just want to ignore them. So that was something I wasn't expecting out of my holiday. I was expecting to go away and forget about, I know, real life. And I've really found real life where I didn't expect to find it. And it was a real privilege. So if you get the chance to go to Mexico, look out Mother Teresa's sisters. If you get the chance to go to California, they work there as well. So although I saw all that stuff on the streets in California and in Mexico, I'm also aware that there's so much poverty and distress in our own country, and in particular in our city of Bristol. We know that Bristol is a, a refugee-friendly city, um, and we know that there are so many people who struggle. We've got people who have been trafficked into slavery, who find themselves in Bristol, and often are so unseen. People doing the car washes, um, there's women in the sex, sex trade that we don't get to see because they're behind closed doors, but it's happening all around us. And there's some amazing charities in Bristol. There's um, Beloved, who work with women who are working in the sex industry, as well as 125, who do that amazing work here in Bristol. Also, there's the charity Unseen, who work with particularly women who have been freed from human slave, human trafficking. Um, there's so many charities that do so much good work um, on our doorstep. So maybe look up someone in your own city or if you're in Bristol, search out these charities. They do really amazing work with people who struggle in our world and who are vulnerable. So thanks for listening and don't forget to press subscribe 
to find out a whole lot more about what's happening here at St. Bond's.